literally chopped apart my cricket. How do you refilm destruction? I'm not the best at maths. But if I worked out my hourly rate, I'm guessing that would probably go into a negative. I have also rebranded. Oh, oh there's so much to catch up on. I hadn't even realised. Oh boy, do we have things to talk about. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. What a week. What an absolute week. Um, hi, if you're new here, my name is Nicola. Um, I'm an illustrator from Yorkshire in England. And this, these are my small business diary videos um, that take you along the ups, the downs, the destruction, the turmoil, the exciting new products and a rebrand. And we have all of that in this week's vlog because uh, I had to destroy my cricket this week. Oh, and it hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the video going and you will see what I had to do and then I will talk you through why I had to do it. Oh, it wounded. Let me just start with that, it wounded. So as promised, today is the day that I am going to hopefully <laughs> talk through the magnetic bookmarks that I have been removing my pop chips um, working on. I only briefly showed you them last week because they weren't right and so I've got new paper, the usual sparkly la laminate and I'm going to try again to <laughs> work them out because I love everything about them, I love the texture and the sparkle but standard Cricut, can you see? I mean, it's done its usual thing. You know my history with die cut stickers and the cricket. And if you don't, um, the history is that it hates me. <laughs> it hates me, basically. And it will coat the lines that side perfectly. And then, you know, I got a setting for it for my stickers because they're very similar to this and my die cut stickers. Um, I put the sparkle laminate over them. And yeah, the pressure just is very hit and miss. Very hit and miss. So, we've just about mastered stickers. So I went on to bookmarks and I think I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to make the cuts a lot deeper. That sounds better, doesn't it? Um, I had it on the default settings. So if you've got a Cricut, um, or if you haven't, if you're thinking about a Cricut, you've got light, a light cut, a default cut, which is, I assume, somewhere in the middle, or the deep cut. And I usually do the middle cut, sort of the default cut, because Sometimes it can mess with the laminate and make it sort of a bit like rough on the edges. Um, but that's with stickers, so it might not be the same with this. So let's keep everything crossed and <laughs> hope for the best because these, these are not a vibe. These are not because unlike the stickers where sometimes maybe the backing is a little bit fluffy. Um, but you can trim that off, it's fine, because the sticker itself is perfect, it's just the card on the back, so there's nothing really wrong with that. But this, there's nothing getting peeled off, so it has to be perfect, it's like the cuts have to be pretty perfect. Um, I can't cut round them because, apart from anything else, my hands are not that steady. Not to cut out shapes like this, I wonder if you can, um, if you'll be able to see if I hold it close. So you can kind of see where it's attempted to cut. It makes no sense because it's cut there perfectly. And then it's like, it's like it just gets bored. <laughs> it's, it just gets bored. Um, so we'll see. I also use the deep blade, the deep point blade is it called? Not the fine point blade. I'll stop chuntering. And let's go, let's, <laughs> let's have like round four of bookmarks. <laughs> There is a very solid chance, I shouldn't have set the camera going at this point, there's a very solid chance that this could bite me in the backside because um, I am obviously going to do the deep cut, but I did, I did say to my husband the other night, um, if I cut through the mat, I cut through the mat, you know, at least I'll know, and that's, that's a solid risk because I've set it and it will go around, I can't remember how, 
the setting of like custom custom made customized um my own setting on the Cricut because you can like set the base material and I've got one that I've just called die cut one and I can't remember how many times I've set that to go round anyway um but I've basically duplicated the lens that many times it's going to go around eight times so um see if I can actually what's my setting see if I can get it up because I might need to I don't really want to adjust this because material settings so <laughs> right it's set to go around seven times on one cut I have duplicated it to about eight I'm not going to do that math but it's a lot um 56 don't judge my maths um so here we have I'm just going to let that dry a little bit because the first material I used you're a bit close and it's a bit dark but it's shadowy because it's gloomy today there we go and the first material I used was my um, art print because it was getting laminated and I know that the paper I use for my prints is mmm chef's kiss the quality like how vivid everything is if you've had a print from me you will know but it just didn't feel thick enough there was just something missing so I had a chat with one of my favourite small businesses who was also just started doing magnetic bookmarks and we were chatting between ourselves like what have you done for this and what have you done for that um, so we exchanged <laughs> we exchanged links and I'm now using a photo paper which I actually think a lot of people do use from the research I just wanted it to be thicker because when I folded it in the middle this is what it looked like and I don't want in time the wear and tear like that to happen because it means that you're paying for a bookmark that might rip and that's it's the last thing I want I pride myself on quality so I just realized that you could actually see my um, lounge pants <laughs> in the viewfinder when I stood up so I've got changed I've put <laughs> I've put something less well depressing on what we say going is it can you see the lighting is not that great today at all
And that, dear friends, symbolises the end of little baby cricket. We've had our ups and downs, but can we just have a moment of silence for its, its service over the year? It's volatile service, but nevertheless, I mean... Oh. Right, let's sit and have a chat and I will tell you what's happening. So, just shuffle you there. Oh, I'm still... I have to say, I'm just going to close it up because it, it actually hurts to look at it. So on, on Sunday, I think I left the footage where, I've got it up on screen, I think I left the footage where I was like, the brayer, um, which is a, it's a cracking bit of kit. Um, went out to Hobbycraft, got that because I was, I was at my wit's end, you'll probably see from the clip, and you can hear my husband in the background like, it's not the, it's not the highest saying, like, that you've had it on as well. It had been going, the cricket, obviously I've cut it right back. Um, for them bookmarks, it'd been going about three hours at that point, and uh, I was at the end of my tether because my stickers take about two hours to cut one sheet. But I set it going and I walk off or I do something else, and I've kind of put up with it. Um, when I first got the cricket, I just thought it was my fault, you know, the trial and error because that's natural with new things. I mean, look at the mug press, um, you've just got to play around and you've you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and I just kept blaming myself for some stupid reason. And yeah, the weekend, I just, it was, I was at the end of my tether. So I sent them an email so I wouldn't forget to call. Um, and then ended up ringing them Wednesday? What day are we on? Yeah, yesterday. Um, because it said give it 48 hours and I'd heard back but nothing since. So I just gave them a call. And long story short, I am getting a new cricket. They are sending me a replacement. The, the just like I'm so thankful. Um, they are sending me a, a replacement, but for them to send me a replacement, you have to you have to record yourself. So you'll have seen like my tripod in um, in the corner of that clip. But again, I cut that right down. You have to film yourself cutting the ribbons, and they had to cut two inch piece out, my husband informed me later on that, that was a lot more than two inch, but you had to cut a chunk out of it and you had to write down the chat number, you had to flip the thing on its head, show the serial number, all that jazz, and send that in a video to them. So I did that and the reason I took, I took it on my camera as well is because I was a nervous anxious wreck because I was cutting, I was literally destroying the machine. So imagine getting an email after you send that video saying oh the serial number wasn't quite clear enough can you refilm no i can't really refilm because i've literally chopped apart my cricket how do you refilm destruction how how do you even know like anyway i refilmed um it's like through the bits of ribbon thing in it, flipped it on its head, stood really still with the serial number and everything and yeah, I got an email saying good news, we're going to send you another one um, in seven to ten working days which is great, I'm super grateful like all in Cricut customer service was really good um, frustrating that you have to film everything but I understand why you have to film everything we did like a couple of tests together on like vinyl and things like that and I sent them a video of the bookmarks and um, so yeah, the customer service is great because I got the cricket last year, but oh my stress levels and having to cut that, and they also want the cricket back. Um, so I'm assuming, like in today, hopefully, um, they said they'd send a like a, a, la a prepaid label. I'm, I'm not sure if I've still got the box. <laughs> Hoping it's in the loft somewhere. Um, yeah, so they want the cricket back as well as me destroying it. I I just want to be able to work because as things are getting busier um, and then like the sparkle stickers have really picked up and I want to make the bookmarks and I can't really afford for things to be taking hours at a time um, to cut anymore. I'm not the best at maths but if I worked out my hourly rate I'm guessing that would probably go into a negative 
<laughs> with like two, three hours for things. So it was a very sad day. But again, for those of you that have been around a while, I'm I'm guessing you're probably like, yeah, yeah, you do right. <laughs> because it's been a journey. Like, eventually it always cuts out the kiss cut stickers. I think I'm one of the few people that I can do kiss cut stickers easier than die cut stickers on the Cricut. Um, oh my gosh, I can hear myself saying erm so much. But, yeah. So a new machine is coming, it's great news, but it could be like two weeks effectively, like 10, 10 working days, 10 business days. So we'll see. Obviously, I will do an unboxing and I will film a first try and all of that, quite frankly, horrific stuff. Um, <laughs> but it's, yeah, yeah. I also realised that the clips that I filmed unboxing my bookmarks were really shoddy because I did them on my phone. That's because I was so excited when they came because they came early. Printed.com. Honestly, they're like elite. So, I did... Um, see, thanks to Cricut, it's all chaos now. I, again, because Printed.com are amazing, they always send like a little bit extra. Um, so the top one was a little bit scuffed of the tea towel thing, but let me show you. Obviously, like, ignore the fact that it's got marks on it because this i think they sent me i ordered 15 of each obviously because there's 15 tea towels um and i think they sent me like 18 so are you ready and i'll show you the new business cards as well because oh let me show you this and then then oh there's so much to catch up on i hadn't even realized <laughs> what do you think oh it's just little carnage down there the colors yeah, so it's, the quality is, it's like really thick. Um, sticker on the back, can't print any more of them now, but, yay! I obviously haven't like bagged them all up, this is the, this is the Love Luna one. Um, all the Nicola Ellen ones are still boxed up safely, stay nice and clean, but, yay! And I know you saw them backwards, my bad. Look, and you can see the colours better here, really. It's all done. I can't believe it. I have also rebranded. Ella, I don't know if I'd. Was I recording at the time I spoke to Kat? Did I mention it? Anyway, I spoke to a cat from Cat Creates Rainbows and they are an absolute wizard and genius of all things. And they told me that actually I could connect my new domain name to my current existing Shopify platform and not have to shut anything down. So I did it. And again, was it Saturday? I think it was, or maybe Friday. Um, I switched over. The only thing left to switch is here on YouTube. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, it will be Nicola Ellen. So it's all done. I, you know, I was thinking when I like made the switch for everything. I think I was just standing in my own way. I honestly think I was letting the nerves get the better of me. Um, because honestly, it's not that deep. Yes, a few people were confused and they were like, oh, I didn't recognise the name. And then they saw my face and that's why I, I was quite conscious of the weekend of putting stories on making my face visible so people could click and be like oh okay okay it's happened like the rebrand's gone ahead and oh this is who it is they've just changed the name you know that kind of thing I genuinely think I was just overthinking it and putting it off I don't know um but I'm so happy that I had not had to uh shut the website down it just it switched because I've prepared it behind the scenes. How cool is that? Um, <clears throat> and the other amazing news, well it's amazing for me, it won't really mean much to you guys. Um, I am 25 followers away from a thousand on TikTok. Like, I spent so long stuck at like 
ate it. And the only followers I was getting were like spam, you know. Um, and I so desperately wanted that thousand because it really makes a difference to small businesses. When you hit that one thousand, you get to add your link into the description so people can just like click. And if you see something, they're like, quick, follow through, you know. Um, so the thousand was really, really important to me. And then somebody in my comments said, um, if you have a business account, like, good luck, I followed you, but if you have a business account, you can, like, put the link in anywhere. So I thought, I thought I had a business account. And I went over to look to, like, do the switch. You know, like, on Instagram, you can have, like, personal or professional. I went to look to do the switch, and I remembered why I didn't have the business account. <clears throat> now, it may be me that's just misunderstanding it. And if there's some of you out there that have the business account on TikTok, that live in the UK, specifically, um that's quite a crucial thing like it asks for things like a, a business registration number or a, something that like i'm not that registered that was one of the other things um i'm absolutely nowhere near being that registered um it's i'm not a limited company because like i'm not just a freelance human that's self-employed with a small business so i'm registered i'm not registered as a limited company i'm registered registered as like a sole, sole proprietor, you know what I mean, if you're in the UK you know what I mean, um, and the other, the other option didn't look like it was for the UTR number that we have over here, so at the moment they're doing like, um, I qualified for a 30 day trial of the business account, so I clicked it, <laughs> and my link is now in the description on TikTok, and I'm 25 followers away from having that thousand, so that when they, I mean, I might be able to solve it by then and it won't be an issue. But if I can't solve the whole like business account thing by then, it's fine. I'll just switch it back to a well, personal, which seems really weird. But yeah, I'll switch it back to that and I'll be able to have my link and everything. I think the only difference, um, again, let me know in the comments if I'm completely wrong. But I think the only difference is that you can look at insights and things with a business account. Like the sounds are the same um that you can't use sort of commercial as such for advertising your own products and things similar to instagram really so i don't think there's a huge difference certainly nothing major that affects you guys anyway yeah how exciting is that i genuinely can't believe it i really can't believe it my big goal for the end of this year on youtube post um, my big goal for the end of the year on YouTube is to definitely have cracked the 500. Like I'd love, like within the 12 months I would have loved to maybe get a thousand. I mean that's quite an ambitious, like a really ambitious goal. Um, but 500 again, I've got this thing about adding links. <laughs> I just like to hit these little mini milestones. And 500 on YouTube would mean that I can just add my little shop into can just tag my items in the shop and I just think that looks like a really cool feature um, and I'm 70 away on YouTube like I started this channel in February and I, I, I expected to still be like I don't know under a hundred and it was a very in the background slow growth kind of situation and I'm, I'm happy with that I'm happy with bobbing along I set these like goals that I can't control because it's numbers um, but it doesn't necessarily hurt if, when I don't hit them, you know, I just like to set them. I like numbers, I like, yeah, I like these weird little targets. Um, so that's just like so exciting to me. Everything this last week, we've had, it's been a roller coaster. let's be honest. Um, but everything feels like it's coming together now for the launch next week. I just have to do product photography, change you guys over to Nicola Ellen and just get ready for launch a couple of newsletters i need to prepare and send out and um, so if you're not like part of the newsletter if you haven't signed up you do get a 10 percent discount anyway when you join you get a code um and you'll be the first to hear about things as soon as i've done the product photos i really want to take a picture of them like all together so everything like the tea towels the mug the notepad i'm not gonna be able to do a sticker but the two art prints um and I want to do a picture of all them together and I think that'll look really cool and pop that into the newsletter so the newsletter people get like first look everything in its glory and then 
yeah it launches on the 26th at 6 p.m british summer time so mark your calendars guys <laughs> I'm, I'm just oh this feels like such an exciting collection but now i've got i've put this pressure on myself for um everything else because the i'm definitely conscious of christmas i've started to plan the autumn collection it changed like because typical nicola it changed from what i'd planned in february um but now i have to think about christmas as well purely because i wouldn't be thinking about christmas at this point but i'm away for two weeks in october so as soon as i get back at the end of october really i'm going to have about a week or so before i launch the christmas collection so i need to have my ish together really before then yeah i'm thinking maybe like the 8th of november or something like that get that gives me about 10 days to overcome jet lag get myself sorted and release if emily harvey's having another e hearts at christmas um, i might see what the date is for that and tufts everywhere i might see what the date is for that and maybe do it then um we'll see christmas is it's a it's a a bit of a distance away i know the things that i want to make for christmas i have all the products in my head i just don't have designs for the products yet <laughs> but autumn is coming together and i really i'm so happy with how this collection has turned out i feel like i've um i feel like i have to i've set the bar quite high is what i'm trying to say for myself and i feel like i've got a bit of pressure on myself now to uh Make everything look as good and cohesive next time i can't wait to show you the lead image that i'm working on the autumn one um but obviously that will be into august like you know you don't have to think about that yet i i obviously have to because i've got all the things to do <laughs> i've just been downstairs to the kitchen to have a look um like some props and stuff for the photos for the tea towels you know, like a wooden spoon and all that kind of thing <laughs> our wooden spoon has curry stones on it <laughs> i'm gonna have to buy another wooden spoon out it's like when you have tupperware and tomato soup and it just uh you know, like stains it i can't put that in product photos and i'm not good enough at photoshop to be photoshopping like a wooden spoon like that's, that's not gonna happen maybe i'll have a trip to the range and maybe that could be next week's vlog where it's full-on launch prep product photography getting everything ready and showing you everything properly as well like in its collective glory um because i know i've shown bits like him this that this and this and there and there here and there here and there um i know i've shown bits like sporadically but i can't wait to show it all together and that's what i really want to do and you know the cricket issue it's not ideal but look at this i'm gonna have we've got to find silver linings guys that's what i'm trying to say i'm gonna have all this room for photography and it's actually a really good space because the light comes in this way so So that's going to obviously not be there and I'm going to have all this room, all this desk space that's currently, you know, cluttered um, for photography and it's, it's a good substantial space, like you don't, you don't really need to look at it from that angle do you? Let's get this shit down. I am going to sign off here I think because I feel like I've done a lot of rambling today and talking at you but I have a lot to prep and i want to show you all the prep behind the scenes but i think if i add it onto the end of this it's just you're probably going to get a little bit bored of just hearing me so next week will be a full no magnetic bookmarks not going to over promise and under deliver next week will be a full video on preparing for the launch i can't wait so we'll go through Oh, product photography, the bane of my existence. I want to enjoy it. I'm trying to enjoy it. I'm just not the best at it, you know? So we're going to go through product photography. I'll do all the boring admin stuff behind the scenes, like get the listings prepped. Um, I will show you everything in all its glory. 
the notepads, the mugs, the tea towels, the prints. I just, I am genuinely so excited about this collection and I really, really hope you guys love it too. I think it's just, it hits on the nostalgia so hard for me. Um, that is just definitely my favourite collection to date. So if you'd like to follow along with that and if you'd like to see me next week, um, <laughs> hopefully not destroying equipment in, in the studio, but I will be getting everything ready for the launch and you can follow me along the way and we'll do it together. You can hold my hand as we, <laughs> as we prepare for the launch. Um, so hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around um, and I will see you guys next week for Fun Frolics and the Bake It Out Collection launch. Mwah.